I'm joined by Hayley Barnard here in the studio and diversity is then the game because she's been on the other man with Search and Select who's celebrating 20 years in business and uh, your, your event was sold out so <laughs> that's been we thought we'd put this out just a few days after you've been here diversity what a, I mean it's such a big subject come on is uh, you know tell me what, which bit are you talking about just more women in the workforce or LGBT or uh, what well I'm here to try and widen people's idea of diversity because I think sometimes when companies think about diversity they tend to think about the legal aspects so they think about the protected characteristics like gender, age, disability, LGBT, that sort of thing. But actually I'm really interested in helping organisations view it as diversity of thought ah. and perspective. But that may come in different guises, <laughs> like women and people with disabilities. But what we do know is that certain groups, particularly minority groups, ethnicity and sometimes gender, um, there are barriers sometimes in the workplace that lead to perhaps not getting the progression they should get. So I'm hoping to open people's eyes to a different way of thinking about that. So you're talking to employers, are you, basically, on this sort of thing, how they can do more to be, be diverse? Em employers, I suppose, more, um, I guess, for some of the bigger firms, yeah, it would be sorry. the head of talent or the you know, the recruiting managers. Uh, and then for some of the SMEs in the business, it would be like, well, what can you do? Because that's a little bit more complicated when you're a small business owner. Well, yeah, exactly. So what can... They can't do much, surely, because they, they can't do quotas or whatever, can they? Small no, and I, I'm not sure quotas are the answer anyway. I think what they can do is start with a change of frame of mind. So I think we're really talking about inclusion, because diversity is important. You know, it's great to have a variety of brains around the table coming up with creative ideas. But actually, if you're not an inclusive place to work, then people will vote with their feet and leave. So I think for smaller businesses, it's more about helping them to see where does unconscious bias fit in? So do they tend to recruit people that are like them always? Are they reluctant to say, get people off island to come in? That sort of thing. So it's, it's taking a wider view of um, being inclusive. But certain companies attract certain people. And I'm not going to name one, but one comes to mind that is a very macho yeah. uh, thing. And I think everyone, they, they work hard and they play hard. Yes. But some people take that job and they go, this is not for me within seconds, you know. Yes. Do you change their culture or... Is there anything you can do for that sort of thing, or is that just inherent? I'd like to change their culture, if I'm honest, because mm. what we do know, um, if it, I don't know how big that business is, but for <laughs> SMEs, in the, in w what the research shows is that if you even had one female director to a male board of directors, the chances of going bust go down by 20%. Really? And, and that goes up the more women you add. I mean, I think it would be the same if you had an all-female board and you added a, a man to that board, because I don't think homogeneity is good, generally. I think having a mixture of people is much safer, so you don't get that group think. It, can you overdo it, though? Because I worked for a broadcaster, well, the BBC, and <laughs> it, was, it was ticking boxes almost. They really wanted you to have a diversity on yeah. that list, because they, they almost have to feel you, they've got to hit those numbers. Right. I mean, that's why I said I'm not so sure, sure, sure about mm. the quotes and targets, and that's why I'm much more concerned about developing an inclusive attitude in people because no one wants ticks boxing, tick boxes. Yeah. I mean, you know, I think, you know, as a woman, I don't want to be given a job just because of my right. gender. Right, so the right person for the right job. The right person for the right job, but we have to recognise that sometimes unconscious bias gets in the way and we think the right person is the right person just because they look like us and they, they think like us. Okay, well, welcome to the Isle of Man. And tell me what you did today, this morning. I'm, well, I'm, I think it's fascinating. Today, the lovely people from Search and Select who <laughs> brought me over um, took me sea swimming because I'm a channel swimmer. I swam last year uh, across the channel and I also swam around oh, Manhattan. And uh, they saw that on my Instagram and they thought, <laughs> right, let's be lovely people and say would you like a swim and so we went for a gorgeous sea swim any pictures exist we'll find them yeah they're on instagram are they? Are they? on search and selects instagram yeah well, well was it not right in there it was the water was so clear i mean obviously it's cold because it's february yeah. and i don't use a wetsuit but it, it was beautiful okay well, well thanks for talking to us if people want more information about what you do website and all that sort of thing yeah hayleybarnard.com or mix diversity developers longest url in the world <laughs>